Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to see a complete DevOps roadmap so that you will be able to get all the things that you need to learn to be a DevOps engineer. So it will be a very brief that we are going to see what all things that you need to learn and if I missed out on anything then do let me know in the comment section below and we will update the diagram and we'll share with each and every one so that everyone will be able to understand what all the things that we need to learn to be a DevOps engineer. So if you see my screen these are all the overall concepts that you need to learn to be a DevOps engineer. You need to have the understanding about the Linux, Git, scripting languages, networking, security, CI CD pipeline, cloud, infrastructure as a code, monitoring and logging tools and lot more. But you don't have to be overwhelmed about all these technologies and definitely you do not have to master all these things. The basic understanding and the working knowledge should be just fine to get you started and slowly and gradually you can improve on all those technologies and you can be a better DevOps engineer. So let's start with the Linux. Within the Linux you should be able to know the basic commands how Linux should work and why I'm saying Linux is majority of the applications are deployed in Linux. So you should have the understanding about the Linux operating system how the basic commands are what is the file structure like you should be able to understand the file the Linux file structure and you should be able to install softwares and the applications utility tools and everything easily. So if you have those understanding if you know the working of that it would be a great advantage to you. You should be able to create cron jobs you should be able to create the scripts and you should be able to uh, uh, schedule those scripts and all those things you should be able to do because within the DevOps you will be able you will be doing a lot of scriptings and everything so that is something that you should know you should be able to understand the Linux and how to maintain the different servers available all those things should be a minimum requirement so it will be helpful in your career and once once that is done once you know the Linux the other thing you need to understand is uh, how git works how the different uh, applications are there like github gitlab bitbucket all of this are, are using git so and all those particular application will be having few features extra or less but uh, everything would be working with the git so you should be having the a good understanding about how git works how the prs commits merge and everything works and how different thing you can do with git so uh, working of a git is really important because you will be connecting your uh, develop your developers and operations so whatever the check-ins are done all those check-ins need to be collected and to be deployed within the servers so that is something a role of a devops engineer is so you should be able to understand a complete git workflow how different git workflows are being designed how the different git workflows can be enhanced for a different types of application right because every organization will be having a different git uh, workflows and application to application also there will be a different git workflow accordingly you need to identify the best fit and you need to implement it accordingly then comes is the scripting languages so as uh, you will be working with the Linux and as you will be working with a lot of scripts because you need to create a lot of different scripts to do a lot of automation okay because the main job is to automate everything we have to reduce all the manual work so for that you need to learn scripting languages so there are two types of scripting languages available one would be OS dependent and one would be OS independent if you go ahead with the OS dependent you have a couple of options that is bash and powershell there are other options as well available but these are generally two options that you would be using if you are working with Linux you will be learning bash and if you are working with windows you will be learning powershell and the OS independents are python ruby go majoritily uh, python has been used at multiple places but Ruby and Go are also been used widely. So either of the one scripting languages you should learn and you should know how to write scripts within any of the language. And if you don't know any of these particular languages and if you want to start out just see that your organization which particular scripting language is used and accordingly you can learn or if you are just going to have your first job then you can see what is the demand of which particular language in your particular area accordingly you can learn that particular language and it will be good for you once you have the scripting knowledge you can write scripts and everything you should also have the basic understanding of the networking how networking works how you can create different proxies like uh, forward proxy reverse, uh, reverse proxies uh, you should be also uh, know the load balancers how load balancers are created how different load balancer strategies work different types of uh, configurations are available within the load balancers as well so you should be able to know the networking side of this you should also have the understanding about the different network protocols like tcp udp https all those stuffs you should also have the knowledge of how to get the free ports like open ports available which ports are running and all those information will be very helpful then you should also have the basic understanding
understanding about the security like how you can secure your servers and everything uh, whenever you are creating your pipelines and everything security aspect should also be taken in mind yeah you, sh you should not be having the in-depth knowledge that's fine you might have the dedicated team to handle the security but but you should have the basic understanding of the security aspect as well then comes the main part is the ci cd pipeline most of the time you will be creating the ci cd pipelines to handle your entire deployment process from core check-ins to deploying to the servers you will be creating the entire pipeline and there are a lot of steps involved in it like uh, if i take even an example of a java application like a springboard application if you take the example you will be building that application you will the next step in the pipeline you will be creating is to complete your unit testing then integration testing then sonar cube checks to check the code coverage uh, then you'll be deploying uh, your application all those steps would be included within the pipeline so you should know how to create those pipelines there are a lot of technologies and tools available you can learn any of the tools or you can learn a tool which is highly used within your organization jenkins is a very popular tool so you can learn jenkins and there are a lot of different uh, flavors also available within the jenkins so you can learn those as well uh, if not there are uh, there is a huge demand nowadays for gitlab ci cd as well github actions as well uh, github action is mainly used for the open source i have seen uh, that within the open source github action has been used to uh, publish all those uh, artifacts and everything if you are using aws then aws code pipeline is also a great tool to create your ci cd pipelines you can learn any one of the tool and you can improve upon and uh, this is also and there is always like uh, if you have the requirement for uh, using any other tool you can just go ahead learn from the documentation and it, will be, and it will be very easy to implement the idea behind is you just need to know how those particular pipelines work how you can create the particular entire workflow for the pipeline that's the concept behind it that is something that you need to understand the tools are the secondary part for most of the tools you will get the documentation and the uh, most of the uh, uh, code as well that you can directly implement but the idea behind is to have the entire workflow in place so try to understand all those stuffs like what all the what all the things are part of a complete pipeline and how you need to build it that is something that matters a lot the next thing is you need to learn cloud cloud is used everywhere and either of the cloud flavor is used at the different location someone would be using aws someone would be using gcp azure vmware tanzu or whatever different just you just need to understand the different services available within those particular area or within those particular services that you are using ideally if you see for all the different cloud providers the name would be different but the internal working if you see the concept behind it would be same so just understand the concept like you can create the virtual machines so within those virtual machines you can deploy anything you can uh, have your load balancers you can have your uh, private uh, virtual private clouds you can have your uh, virtual private networks and all those things you can create these are the similar things that you can create in each and every different uh, cloud providers the naming of the service would be different but ideally you should be able to do all those stuffs and learn a particular cloud which has been used in your organization that would be uh, beneficial for you as well and if you are searching for a job and if you want to learn cloud uh, for a devops engineer role learn something that is highly in demand for that particular location there are a lot of different options available so you will be able to go through any of the one the next thing you need to learn is the containerization now everything is moving from the monolith to microservices and within the microservices you need to containerize your applications everywhere you would be seeing that your application will be containerized and deployed to your uh, cloud services so you need to learn any of the containerization framework containerization tool the best in the uh, market available and the highly popular is docker and it's very easy to learn so learn docker like how to create images how to deploy those containers how to manage those containers and everything it's very easy if you want to learn all those things i have a course as well on my channel you can go through that course and you'll be able to grab those concepts very easily and when you are working with multiple containers and everything you need a tool to handle all those containers for that kubernetes is a really good option available so you can learn kubernetes as well and within the kubernetes you will be able to uh, orchestrate it's an orchestration tool so you will be able to handle or you will be able to learn to handle all the different containers how the containers should behave how they should connect how auto scaling or how scaling down should happen all those concepts are there it's very easy to learn and i have a dedicated course as well on kubernetes on my channel you can check those courses as well it's very easy and you'll be able to understand everything and this concepts and this tech and if you know all this technology you'll be having the advantage in your job application as well the next thing is the infrastructure you'll be working with the infrastructure in your devops role you will be managing servers and you'll be managing configurations and everything on your servers everything has to be automated 
but you will be uh, dealing with those stuffs as well so for that rather than having the uh, diagrams and everything created what generally is been uh, used is infrastructure as a code you will be writing a code for your infrastructure and you will be provisioning your uh, infrastructure so for the provisioning terraform is the best option available where you can provision any type of infrastructure there are lots of plugins available lot of different providers available from uh, aws gcp azure oracle all are different providers available in the terraform all those cloud providers are available you can use any of the cloud providers whatever you want to use and you can uh, provision your infrastructure and whatever the changes or whatever the configuration you need accordingly you can write your code and everything within the click everything will be available to you the other type of configuration the other type of thing you will be doing in the infrastructure as a code is the configuration management once the infrastructure is created you will be doing the configuration as well suppose for uh, deploying a java application there will be different types of configuration required for deploying a python application different types of configuration will be required so all those configuration you will be doing uh, the maintenance activity the upgrade activity update activities all those things you will be doing so for all those you will be using a configuration management uh, tools so there are a lot of tools available like chef Ansible, Puppet, Solstack. You can learn any of the tool. So Ansible is highly in demand uh, and it's very easy to learn as well. So you can start with Ansible, but Puppet, Chef, Solstack, all are better options. As I said earlier, whatever is used within your organization or whatever is highly in demand for your job, you can learn that and it will be helpful. The other thing which is very important when you're working with a lot of services is monitoring and logging. So to monitor all your services and everything, how your uh, network is performing how your database is performing how your rest apis is performing for each and everything you'll be using monitoring and logging tools so these are the tools available like prometheus grafana elk data login splunk you can learn any of the tools all these different tools are available for different types of activities like uh, for application monitoring for uh, servers monitoring different things are available so accordingly you can learn those and you can try to implement within your infrastructure so you'll be able to have the better knowledge about all this tools available and you will be able to implement this within your infrastructure as well so this is the general idea about the devops roadmap that you should learn all these particular technologies and all these areas there are a lot more things that you might need to learn as well based on the different requirements and based on the different clients and organization requirement as well so there is always a continuous learning required for all these technologies and if i miss any of the particular topics or particular technology that i should have covered then do let me know in the comment section below i will update this and i will share it with you so everyone would also be able to understand whatever is missing here they will also get to know about that that's all i wanted to share today in the devops roadmap if you have any doubts regarding any of the things then do let me know in the comment section below if you are enjoying the content then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click on the join button down below to join the channel and support me so that's all in this video I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Bye-bye.